freaking gosh, Josh Gordon, man. I can't with this. I can't. Welcome back to NFL News and Screws. Whatever. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. We welcome you back to NF episode three King. of NFL News and Screws. And uh, guys, first of all, I just want to... Uh, I just want to say, really sorry for the delay. Yeah, we I've, missed we like both been, two I've, weeks. I've been busy with work. He's been busy with school, and uh, but now you know every Friday now we're gonna he's gonna be here, and we're gonna continue with our mini series of mi NFL News and Screws. So yeah, a series called NFL News and Screws with our with our what's what's what's, what's the name what's the name what's, what what are those side shows called? What's uh, uh, with, 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 with a, a spinoff? The the life and times of Josh Gordon. Josh Gordon invades the media, episode two. What's episode three gonna be called? Josh, that was still the old beat. God damn it, Josh Gordon. Josh Gordon. Josh, Josh Gordon. Gordon Josh Gordon. Cleveland strikes back. <laughs> Let's get on with it. All First right. So and also and also, so week four already in the NFL, we had the Miami Do the Cincinnati Bengals beating the Miami Dolphins last night, which beating the destroyed which them. I, which I lost in my pool last night. <laughs> Damn it! I knew I should have took the Bengals. I knew it. Twenty-two to seven. I knew that the Dolphins were gonna blow it. The Dolphins blow everything. Then they, they boy did they ever. The Dolphins blow everything. They, 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 they after, after they, Arian Dude, Foster was not, was nothing then. I swear to God, they speaking of, they really did. I knew they were gonna get blown out last night, and boy was I right. Speaking I mean, of getting no, blown, no speaking doubt. Of, speaking of getting blown out. Josh Gordon's in the rehab. That's, I don't know how, why that comparison was being made. Well, <laughs> all Josh right. Gordon's in rehab. Yeah. What's our first set of news? All right, Mike? guys, so, so let's, let's get, get into it. Episode three of NFL News and Screws. Mm. So we started off Steelers to use Le'Veon Bell more as receiver. I'm not surprised. They could have used him as receiver in two back sets against the Kansas City Chiefs on this Sunday. Bell, one of the most productive receiving <laughs> backs in the NFL, is returning from a three game suspension. Like for that sneeze. Um, that being said, the fact that they're using Le'Veon Bell out of the back, um, if it's going to be out of the backfield, then sure, why not? That's, that's pretty useful. We all know Le'Veon Bell's a stud, but... Yeah, Le'Veon Bell being used as a receiver is going to be acquainted with the if, if Antonio Brown gets fined again. If he can lay off the weed, then, yeah, he's he'll he'll be fine. But Let Antonio Brown wear his kids, damn it. Totally agree. Totally. Let him twerk and wear the shoes. God damn, he's the best player in twerk. the league, damn it. Twerk. He's twerk. the best player in the league. Let him do what he wants. He really is the best player in the league. <laughs> Let's talk about something else. All right. So moving on. Bill O'Brien taking over play calling for the Texans. Hasn't he been doing that for the past three years now? So he'll call plays on offense for the Texans, taking those duties away from offensive coordinator George Godsey. Okay. As long as J.J. Watt comes back from injury by Actually, the grace of God. Actually, no, because he's out for the season with season-ending surgery. What? Again? But meaning Houston season is absolutely doomed. Yeah, they went from weren't they like two and zero? I didn't even take them in my pool this week. I took, uh, I took Tennessee, and I never take Tennessee. So what surprises me? That's that's yeah, that's surprising. Eight to me. Too. So <laughs> so so now the Texans are gonna go two and fourteen. They'll have the number one pick in the draft, and they'll t pick. Who's gonna be the number one pick in the draft this year? Deshaun Watson. Deshaun Kaiser. Deshaun Watson. I saw WalterFootball.com. I'm gonna take Christian choice. McCaffrey. Who's oh, next? Oh, next? Oh, oh, Who's next? Way? Has McCaffrey going to the Panthers? How ironic! That's our next bit of news. Panthers will be without Jonathan Stewart for another week. Take McCaffrey out of take this 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 give McCaffrey his credit to Stanford and have him play now. That's that's it. So they'll be without him for at least another week because of a hamstring injury. That's and head present. coach Ron Rivera said Thursday, it's clear Stewart won't be ready to face the Falcons in Week Four, and that means that Cameron Artis Payne will start with. Bozzy Whitaker serving as his num as his number two. So we'll have the backfield of Carolina of Cam and Cap because that's Cameron Larson. nickname. How interesting. All right, so we basically already covered this. J.J. Watt undergoes surgery, unlikely to return this season. Unlikely. Unlikely and possibly likely to be replaced by his brother, T.J. Watt. He has a brother? On Wisconsin. Yeah, he plays at Wisconsin. Oh. Yeah, TJ Watt. Uh, placed on injury reserve Wednesday, putting Matt for a minimum of eight weeks to repair a uh, hernia. He has to rep repair a herniated disc in his back. So, speaking and then, of, yeah, yeah, their, their season's due. Speaking speaking of relation, before we get into this next topic, <laughs> you know what's ironic? Um, both former NBA star Corey Robinson and Tony Hunter and Tony Hunter's sons were all, were all receivers at Notre Dame. Yeah, Corey Robinson, I think we still, I think he was still there, and Tory Hunter Jr. Are all playing at Notre Dame. Wow. Interesting. Yeah. Notre Dame. Why am I looking at Goodell's oh, face right now? Oh, boy. 
Oh, oh boy. God. And actually, actually, and actually, uh, football fans, I actually saw this yesterday, last night on TV. So, Lady Gaga announced a Super Bowl 51 halftime show performer in Houston on February 5th, 2017. This will be Lady Gaga's second time performing on the Super Bowl stage after having sang the national anthem at Super Bowl 50 last February. She also performed at last year's Oscars. Coldplay, Beyonce, Bruno, and Bruno Mars performed at last year's halftime show following Katy Perry's performance at the previous Super Bowl. Guess who's not watching the Super Bowl this year? I'm just kidding. I, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I still am. If she sings Alejandro, then then I'll watch it. Oh. Apart from that, I'm not watching the halftime show. I am definitely. I'm just gonna do what I always do. I'm tuning in. Hey, crack open way, a beer and pass out. Yeah, we we definitely can since we're 21. That's D, it. Hey, D, answer a question. Show so, who's your Super Bowl pick? Uh, who's your Super Bowl uh, prediction this year? And I know it's kind of premature to say I've, that I've now. Got, I've, 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 got, forward, I've got I've got my picks right now. Go ahead. I've got three of them actually. Go ahead. The Patriots versus the rule book. Everyone versus the yearbook. <laughs> and Jerry Jones and a picture of Roger Goodell. That's funny. I, I really thought I, 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 I predicted out. the Cardinals, but they're not off to such a great start. I've they got the Vikings the and the Eagles done. I've got the Vikings and the Eagles at, at the watching the Patriots cheat. Ro 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 Roger Goodell will see the Patriots cheat again in the AFC Championship and, de and declare an NFC NFC Super Bowl. Let me just say this: Vikings, Broncos, Eagles. Wow, how good is Carson Wentz looked, dude? The Ravens are undefeated. And the Ravens. I'm mad. But yeah, we, the Ravens are a good team. But wow, the Eagles. We all expected them to be way down the basement. Then look, the NFC look, East is look, right. look, look, look at my face when I see this. Chip Kelly's a genius. Chip Kelly leaves. Ch no, Chip Kelly. Chip, no. Chip, Chip Kelly. Kelly. Chip Kelly trades Nick Foles for Sam Bradford. Chip Kelly doesn't get Marcus Mariota. Chip Kelly leaves to go coach what's his face. Chip Kelly probably called up the new coach for the Eagles and told them, "Hey, draft Carson Wentz." Chip Kelly planted. A poison apple in Teddy Bridgewater's bag, so Bridgewater can get her to practice. <laughs> Leave, leading up to Teddy Bridgewater getting traded, not traded. Sam Bradford getting traded. Teddy Bridgewater getting injured, and then Sam Bradford getting traded to the Vikings. Now the Vikings are three and zero, and the Eagles are three and zero. And Carson went to starting when he was almost not starting over Sam Bradford. Chip Kelly is a genius. It was all Chip Kelly. Hashtag Chip Kelly. Chip Kelly did it. Chip Kelly all the way. Chip Kelly for president. Chip Kelly for president. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, oh God. man. Hey, Carson Wentz, we love you, man. Carson Wentz, love thank you. you. Carson, love you. Carson Wentz is the savior of Philly. Car Carson Wentz is the next best thing ever. Oh. So, NFL still hasn't sent two winning teams to play game in London. Oh. And the headliner, guys. Here we go. Ben Small News. Here's, oh. the, here's the headliner. All right. Here's the headliner. Do you guys remember this guy from our last episode? No. Yeah. yeah he okay. Was, sure. Here he we was, go. Yes, he was the. He was in the freaking episode. It's Josh Gordon again. Josh Gordon, Josh Gordon to the rehab. Josh Gordon. Josh Gordon is in every freaking episode. Josh Gordon enters inpatient rehab facility. And is he also was putting his to, career on hold. He was said to be in state, reinstated by the NFL to return to play in Week Five, but he's instead waiting. entered. And patient treatment facility. So, and this is so 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 so. Here's how here's how the outlook's coming. No RG three for the Browns. No Josh Gordon for the Browns. Tony Kessler. The offense we've been waiting for has faltered us all. We're not getting any offense this year. Oh. Now, guys, we also have to start Cody Kessler. So, also, guys, this is a statement from Mr. Gordon himself. He said, "Quote." After careful thought and deep consideration, I've decided that I need to step away from pursuing my return to the Browns and my football career to enter an inpatient rehab rehabilitation facility. This is the right decision for me and one that I hope will enable me to gain full control of my life and continue on a path to reach my full potential as a person. I appreciate the support of the NFL, NFLPA, the Browns, my teammates, my agent, and the community through this extremely challenging process. LeBron James in the city of Cleveland. Next! Hashtag LeBron's gonna help out Josh Gordon. Hashtag LeBron's gonna play tight end. Yeah, word. <laughs> next! <laughs> Alright, next up. Dez Bryant, unlikely to play against the 49ers. Don't care. He avo Okay. So. Next. Buccaneers won Jameis Winston to throw less. Good. Still don't care. <laughs> he loves Jameis Winston. I hate Jameis Winston. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh boy, fakest voices. Fakest voices. Yeah. Eric Decker will probably have MRI on shoulder. He was held out of practice on Wednesday right. and will probably, probably. probably undergo, right. an un undergo right. an MRI to determine right. the extent of the sh the extent of the shoulder injury. Ryan Fitzpatrick will probably throw seven interceptions this weekend. Ryan Fitzpatrick will probably grow a beard again. Brandon Marshall will probably get mad at Ryan Fitzgerald. And beat him up. The Jets will probably call Chris Ivory and tell him, you want to go play for the Jaguars? Look, playing in London. Matt Forte Chris will... Ivory, please come back. Matt Forte will probably help. fumble the ball. We need help. <laughs> the Jets defense will probably give up less than 10 points this weekend. Now, guys, we... Uh. That's right. It's that time of the episode. It's time, it's time for small for stuff. Small stuff. Yay. Small All right. Stuff. So, small new section of episode three. Three. Wake up. Three. Of Wake NFL, up, Mike. Of NFL news and screws. Wake I'm up. Awake. I'm like, so, small news. NFL now unlikely to play 2018 game in China. We actually, Good. We actually brought this up in our first episode. We did, yeah. On they, August 18th. We said we might have Despite a game in China. Despite reports that the Rams and 49ers will play in China in 2018, no one's, no one's going to watch that. That's says why. says there's probably more work to do that can be done in two years. Huh. Yeah, right. Um, Des Bryant was no-show. Led to delayed MRI. Okay. Oh, here's some interesting. I actually didn't know that. CJ Spiller agrees to deal with Seahawks. Okay. Seahawks. Wow. Yeah, interesting. Our thin end running actually, back following the retirement of Marshawn Lynch and the injury to oh, Thomas, Thomas Rawls. Rawls. I actually like this move. Cam Newton, I won't let Kelvin Benjamin go catchless again. Neither did you, yeah, take take a page out of Fakus <laughs> Winston Fakus Winston's books. Like you hear that, Auburn? You messed up. Never put Chris Davis on Kelvin Benjamin ever again. <laughs> he saw just one target and went catchless in Sunday's loss to the Vikings. Messed up, Auburn. Why well, it's on you? NFL Tom Coughlin's agent denied reported meeting with Bill's ownership. Both the NFL and Tom Coughlin's agent have denied a report that he met with Bill's owners Terry and Kim Piula over the weekend. And by the way, can Tom Coughlin be the coach of the Bills and get Rex out of there? Can Rex fire himself and just go about his bad no, can, no, can, no, can Rob fire Rex? I think... <laughs> can they do that? Can he do that? I don't know. Actually, there may be like some loophole in the contract. Maybe so might, be able to. might be able to. <laughs> Next. Uh, okay. Oh boy, this awful team. Terrell Pryor believes. Terrell Pryor believes Browns can win out. They Terrell Pryor with, also believed that Ohio State can win every game with, with him at quarterback. They, Look how that went. They started the season with three straight losses, but Terrell Pryor believes they can rebound in a big way. No, they can't. Yeah, in the AFC North, playing can't. the Steelers, the undefeated Bengals. No, I'm sorry, the undefeated Ravens and the Bengals. The only way the Browns can win out, Terrell Pryor plays literally every position, as he literally almost did on Sunday, and they still lost to the Dolphins in overtime. Terrell Pryor, everybody, just start him a quarterback. He'll be a better at, quarterback at, than at Cody this, Kessler. At this point, yeah, at this point, that's what they should do. But they're not going. But Hugh Jackson's not going to do it because he's not going to do it. <coughs> he's just not. Seahawks confident Russell Wilson will face Jets. Oh, Jet fans are really hoping this isn't the case because. Hey, guys, I took I the Jets in my pool, and I'm probably going to lose with that pick as well, and many others. Russell Wilson will probably play this weekend. He was a participant in, when, participant in Wednesday morning's walkthrough. Yeah, you know what? Knowing the Jets, they won't catch a break. He'll play, and he'll mutilate them. Rex Ryan joins conference call. Ex Julian Edelman if he'll play quarterback. I, what? No, no, what? no, 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 no. Are you serious? No, 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 no. His, his, I want... Julian Edelman to play quarterback. Are you serious? As I used to watch him at Kent State on ESPN in my, in my, in my younger no. days. I want Edelman to play quarterback again. He makes it look so... Wait dude. a minute, he played quarterback? Yeah, at Kent State. 2004. Holy shit. I was watching a video earlier about how, how Edelman's dad helped him go from college QB to Brady's favorite Gronk receiver. Gronkowski's going to play quarterback. No, but Gronk, Gronk, cool. no Gronk's going to... Gronk, kitten. No, no. The, kitten, no. the kitten starts quarterback. Gronk's going to replace Edelman at receiver. And Edelman will play quarterback. I want Edelman to play QB. I really do. That'd be very interesting. And watch, he'll, watch. He's a, he's a anyone who quarterback. He's a damn Patriots, good quarterback. Doesn't matter who the hell it he's is. He's a damn good quarterback. Belichick I, gets the most out of him. Yeah, it makes no sense how we he think. Really oh, does. Brady's not starting. They're gonna go zero and four. They still have it. Yeah. They, they had J they had Jacoby Brissett, who was good, and so was obviously Garoppolo. But 
Hey, I like Garoppolo. I really like Garoppolo. I hate the Patriots, but I really yeah, like Yeah, he's him. the next Tony Romo, apparently. He's absolutely incredible. Next. Everything Garoppolo does is amazing. Mm. Yes. David... Except go to Eastern Illinois. Yeah. He wouldn't have been more recognized if he went somewhere else. But... David Carter, Griff Whalen are rare NFL vegans. Ah. Tyron Matthews' agent says his client is about 90% vegan. You sure? You sh- I bet he is after all that time of eating grass at Death Valley with um, Les Miles. Who got fired, actually. I feel bad for Les Miles. I feel bad for Les Miles. Who's the intern coach? I don't care. Neither do I. I heard it's some dude from Oregon. Oh, boy. Des, Des wow, Bryant so, heard so again. Listen, so, uh, Todd Bowles, Jets had... Come wow, to come Jesus. to Jesus meeting after a loss. <laughs> the they whole... had an important meeting. So G- they had an the important whole... meeting after Sunday's blowout loss to the Chiefs. So Jesus came to the Jesus came to the Jets. J U S E S Christ Christ Christ. Christ uh, Christ is gonna play quarterback for the Jets. Christ is gonna play everything for the Jets this week. <laughs> oh man! Oh, no boy. no no! They have to go back to old tape of Tim Tebow. <laughs> Who also spoiler alert? Tim Tebow's first at bat in his in his in his in his, in his pro debut was a home run. No kidding. Yeah. You know, I actually Tim Tebow's first ever at bat was a home I run. I actually saw in the city. I went to the I, I went to the Adele show last week, which was phenomenal, by the way. And I looked in I looked in the um the store, the sports store. They do have Tim Tebow Met jerseys on sale now. Duh, the Portia Lucy Mets. Yeah. He's gonna be in the majors in two. Um, he's gonna be in the majors in a year. Watch. We're gonna sign him in a year. Watch. He'll make. He'll. We'll have him in the outfield in no do time. For the next, the next, next year. Baseball. Anyway, back to the episode. Back to the Dolphins. Adam. Oh boy. Adam Gase warns Dolphins shape up, or you'll be on the bench. He's meaning don't go six and ten, then you go on the bench. Oh wait, it's the Dolphins. One and three, not looking good for Gase. Ronnie Lott, Lott, optimistic about keeping Raiders in Oakland. Which won't happen. You can Why don't you to a 49er? To team officials about a way to keep the club from moving. I want to see them go to Vegas. You know, as a former 49er, I would hope the Raiders left. I actually want the... Dude, I actually want the Raiders in Vegas. I do, too. The Las Vegas I Raiders. I want to see a Vegas That'll, that, that'll epitomize Sin City. We'll also have the Raiders and the Aces in, in the NHL. I would pay to see that. I would absolutely love to see the Raiders in Vegas. Like I really, I'm waiting really for the Aces, want to see dude. it. It's never happened before. I'm waiting. Really for the, I'm waiting for it. the Aces. I'm waiting for the Las Vegas Aces in the in the NHL. Yeah, right. I kid you not. That's gonna be great. Yeah. Two Vegas teams and the pros. Can't beat. Bring it, it on. Can't beat it. Absolutely can't beat Madden it. Madden 21. I can't wait. Me too. <laughs> Referees threaten to sit in. Here we go back to week custom three. Cleats. So they threatened to sideline Antonio Brown for the second half of Sunday's game if he didn't take off his baby blue cleats and blazon with the faces of his children. Yeah, that's like yeah, not a great idea. It's, it's like oh, you're trying idea. to be oh, you're trying to be a dad. Flag. Yeah, that's not very. Uh, what? Stop. Why are you doing this? Bring Seriously, back, bring why back. are you doing this? Hell, the replacement us wouldn't even do that. Replacing us be like, tell me around what is wrong with you? I mean, seriously. No, no, no. That's actually great. That's a great gesture. Is it? Um, you dude. Think so? Antonio Brown's quote while, while with that with that pose of the cleats was the reasons I the four reasons I lace them up every week. His kids, dude. His kids. Actually, oh yeah, yeah, you got a point. The twerking I wasn't Any, anything, so high any, on, any, but the cleats, anything, the cleats clean that up. Anything for the kids. Anything, everything anything for the kids. For the kids. This Spot is all on about, AB. It's all about the kids. Spot too. on, AB. Good job. Stay AB. up. Jay, keep it up. JJ Walker missed remainder of the season, 2016, a back in, a back injury. All right, this again. Oh boy, political question, political uh, news. Wow. Kind of. Colin Kaepernick, let's make America great for, for the, the first, first time. time. He was not I'm impressed actually by not the mad de- at that. He was not impressed by the debate performance of either Hillary Clinton or Donald Trump. See that? Facebook football is with you, too. Next. The debate was very comical. The NFC North is abysmal. It, it, it is. Dude, the, dude, the Vikings dude, are 3-0. Oh oh. The Vikings beat the Packers with Sam Bradford at quarterback. What is going on? Sam Bradford just like rises from the top when it looks like he's way, he like was all the way at the, the bottom. He, he was he worse than ri- Oklahoma. He, he rises. He himself, was worse than Oklahoma. He rises himself from the grave. That's what he does. He was worse than Oklahoma, dude. Minnesota maybe was his calling spot, his calling place. Shoot, I, I, I should. I think so, so right? <laughs> Thomas Rawls can miss month with hairline fracture. He could, uh, for a month because of a hairline fracture in his fibula. Wow. They're the Seahawks. They could. 
Philly. So Hugh Jackson, quote, Browns aren't tanking for number one pick. He said on Monday, the day after the Browns right, lost in overtime right, against the Dolphins, right, that the team isn't hoping, uh-huh, isn't losing hopes in getting the number uh-huh, one overall pick in next spring's uh-huh. draft. Like the like the Cavs did. Deshaun Watson. Like the Cavs didn't tank to get Kyrie. Like the Cavs didn't yeah, tank right. to trade Andrew Wiggins to form the big three. Everyone's terrible, tanking. Terrible decision making. Right, the Browns aren't tanking. Awful. And the Knicks getting Patrick Ewing wasn't rigged. It was. It, it, yeah, it was. Oh, if the it NFL was draft had a lottery, I'd be the first to watch that. I would too. I really wish it had a lot of. Re- and guys, by the way, did. the NFL draft next year, Philadelphia. So Carson Wentz will definitely be in attendance. Really? They yeah. Philadelphia. Philly. Yeah. They're leaving Chicago for Philly. Yeah. Philadelphia. Any team. Everyone should just draft Christian McCaffrey number one overall right now. And also hashtag Carson Wentz and Ben Simmons are ha- best friends now. Hashtag hashtag Lamar Jackson for the first pick of the draft. Hashtag Lamar Jackson for. And Ryan Howard too. Hashtag, ha- hashtag, hashtag, take that Florida State, haha. <laughs> Dude, the U of the upset is back. The U of the upset yeah, right? is truly back. Word, man. I'm surprised Stanford didn't lose. Next. Me too. Anthony Davis, not that Anthony Davis. Again. He again retires, retires from the, the NFL. NFL. He suffered another concussion in practice on September 15th. You are not Brett Favre. And Sit has down. not played since. You're not Brett Favre. Sit down. Come on, man. And now to cap off our show, it's a special, a special edition of Dem's record-setting trends. Recently, over the past week, Arizona State running back Kalen Balash set the FBS record for touchdowns in a game with eight. Eight touchdowns in a game. That is a record. Amazing. That ties the FBS record. Wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. That's Arizona State, you guys. And of the Pac-12, they beat Texas Tech. That game was back and forth. Also, Texas actually won a game. Texas won a Surprising, game. Surprising, isn't it? Texas, 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 Texas beat Notre Dame. Then lost to Cal. It's the year of the upset, oh guys. Oh, boy, Cal. Oh, and also he has a bonus, too. Did you hear that Marshawn Lynch is actually thinking of coming back? Yeah, I heard about that. Yeah. All right, I'm, I'm behind that. Seattle reunion? Maybe another team in California. Don't you love it like with these players that retire and then they just like come back? Everyone, just, I want to play. Like, everyone listen, wants to you be, play until you can't play Everyone wants to be anymore. Brett Favre. You want to play until... Everyone wants to be Brett Favre. Well, you're not Brett Favre. You play until you can't play anymore. That's always been my quota with, you know, players that want to retire. So, personal... Let, let's quickly do our personal thoughts of the season so far. Uh, to me, the, to me, the, the best the best word to describe it because this is NFL news. Excuse the me. Vikings the Vikings are going to the Super Bowl. The Vikings are going. No, the Eagles are going to Super Bowl. And let me tell you, I would literally. The Eagles are going. The Eagles are going. The Eagles are going. Everything Eagles. Now I hate Carson Wentz. Now I hate the city of Philly. I, I hate the city of Philly, I like but him. I love the Eagles and I love Carson Wentz. Carson Wentz is amazing. Reasons because everything he does. Reasons is because. McNabb went to Syracuse. Yep. Carson Wentz. Nick Foles is amazing. Darren Sproles, who I'm literally the same height as. For the third straight episode, Doriel Green Beckham. The, yeah. Second He's great, too. And, He's and, their, right. and their head coach, Doug Peterson, who's really impressed as well this year. Yeah. And actually, he was with Philadelphia uh, back in the day before he went to Kansas City. Yeah, and, 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 and he's a lot better than Chip Kelly. I agree. You know Chip Kelly's a genius. Too. We all know Chip Kelly's a genius. Doug still. Peterson's gonna be his own genius. Yeah, absolutely. And, and not and not and not and not trade up to get the number two pick and fail. Please, please, you, you the Browns actually thought RG three was a better quarterback than Carson Wentz. Are you out of your mind? Are you out of your freaking mind? No, you know what's fu- no. Seriously? No, because the, the they what? traded the pick. It's weird. Well, now now they know never to do that again. Well, guys, be, be, actually Cleveland. We're gonna be, ru- be smart with your decision making. It's time to run on the next 19 seconds of the episode before we end at 30 minutes because <laughs> we're insane. Ah, I'm just gonna think of stuff to say now. So before I press the button, da 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 da